Hey guys, this is Sean from SeanOther.com and today we are having MLI Symphony smartphone with us and we are going to do a detailed in-depth hands-on review of the device. So first of all let me tell you about the MLI Symphony Note that it comes with a 1.5 GHz 64-bit quad-core processor. It is having 2 GB of RAM, it's having 4G LT capability, it's having dual SIM capability as well. The screen is 5.5 inches in size and it's a 720p HD screen. The primary camera is of 13 megapixel and the front facing camera is 8 megapixel. Then uh, we got a metal body here and uh, what else? Let's start the review and let's have a look on the device itself. So here is our MLIS M4 Note. Let's have a look on the design first of all. Here you can see there is the 8 megapixel front facing camera here are the sensors the light sensor the proximity sensor and unfortunately there is no led notification uh, capability in this device which is uh, pretty bad people are used to of having led notification which is not available in this phone here is the 5.5 inch screen there is no corning gorilla grass protection as well on the screen of mlis m4 note but uh, you can say it's a budget Android smartphone. So uh, considering that fact, it's it's okay that it's not having the Corning Gorilla Glass. And uh, if we have a look here, here is the physical home button, as you can see. And there is a back uh, capacitive key, and here is the menu key, which is uh, not visible when the lights are off. So if you want to see and now you can see that there are the capacitive keys see so uh, when the backlit is not on you, you won't be able to see that there are the capacitive keys which is uh, pretty good in terms of design you can say it's nice and this is having a metallic frame here but uh, for some weird reason i don't know why they have painted it because this part is metal and in the black version of MLS M4 Note, it's black, and in the white version of MLS M4 Note, it's white. But here you can see still the metallic finish here on the corners, on the edges. And uh, here is the power on off key, which is also uh, made of metal. Here are the volume rockers, these are also metal, as you can see here. And the design is pretty good. There is a bit of empty space i'm not sure if you can see this so yeah, here you can see this is the power up power down and there is an empty space to hold on in between so and uh, on the back side here is metallic mlis shiny logo here is the 13 megapixel autofocus camera here is the LED flash and uh, here is the speaker and the back panel is having the fox leather finish as you can see here so uh, considering the design if you have a look at Samsung Galaxy Note 4 this device is exact copy of uh, Samsung Galaxy Note 4 in terms of design so as you can see it's it's a bit different as well but from the back side and from the front it looks totally similar to Samsung Galaxy Note 4 so let's start our review or so uh, this device comes with Android 5.0 lollipop as you can see this is the lock screen of uh, Android 5.0 lollipop and we can directly launch uh, the camera and uh, the phone application right from the lock screen and here we go so first of all let's go to the about section of the device and check the details as you can see here it's having android 5.0 version and this is mlis m4 note it is also having the capability of getting ot updates and fortunately mlis m4 note is one of those company who are pretty good in providing updates so if you are going to buy this phone you will have the frequent updates hopefully so let's have a look on the phone so here is our m license phone note and you can see it's it's pretty smooth 
the inbuilt storage of this device is 16 GB and uh, out of the 16 GB 4 GB is available for uh, the apps and everything and uh, 8 GB you get uh, for multimedia files and, and data so uh, if you if you are one of those people who install lots of application and games on your uh, phone then it's going to be a good one as you can see here uh, 8 GB is available for the data purpose and for installing games and all it's nearly 5 GB it's 4.84 GB you can even use the micro SD card for uh, expanding the memory it supports up to 64 GB of card then uh, let's have a look a few of the features and functionality here are the, the few of the basics uh, Android features if you go to the display you will find like it's it's all usual settings um, but here is the a few of the calibration settings available as well for the gravity sensor and proximity sensor you can if you're thinking that um, the gravity sensor is not working properly or the proximity sensor you can calibrate them from this applications right from the display settings also mlis m4 note comes with uh, a, um, a smart cover which which is called s view it's one of the most uh, popular terminology these days that s view cover so it is having a separate setting for s view cover as well which you can see if you're using uh, the smart cover on your m lights m4 note uh, there are some settings like uh, when you want it to sleep and what will the clock style the smart cover for m lights m4 note is having a huge circle in the middle of the cover where the clock will appear so let's go back here and you can even cast your screen on some other device as you can see from here and here is this one some notification um, android 5.0 lollipop comes with a new feature which is interruption so you can select uh, even if you though your device is in silent mode you can make priority and you can select like whether you want to get um, notification for events reminder or calls or matches or whatever it's it's totally up to you you can access the settings from here and you can do this basically it's from uh, android 5.0 lollipop so uh, story you have already seen here is the battery option uh, as you can see it is having a smart standby intelligent power saving mode which i am using currently you can see here it's marked and here is the detail uh, as you can see i was playing some games as vaulted and all but still the battery performance is uh, pretty good it is it is having uh, 2400 mAh battery but uh, considering the size of the screen and the quad core processor uh, it's it's not too much but it's still it's pretty good as you can see that on 50 percent it's going to survive approx 19 hours uh, i'm not sure it will survive for 19 hours but it's still it's um, surviving for me for one day plus so it's pretty good for moderate users and you can even activate the battery saver mode here from here as well you have to tap on the menu uh, because this this is invisible this option is not available on the main screen but you have to tap on the menu then you can go to the battery saver and then you can turn on and off like and it is also having an option turn on automatically or not so like you can select uh, at, at which level you want to turn on the battery saver application to save battery never at five percent or fifteen percent once the battery saver application is on you will have some less features and functionality but your battery uh, performance will be better and this uh, option will be available so i'm going to turn it off right now and let's have a look on the ram we are getting so as i've already said uh, m license for note is having 2gb of ram and uh, right now you can see that out of 2gb uh, 1.2 gb ram is used already and 590 mb of ram is free let me close few of the running application and let's have a look how much ram we are getting so now as you can see 
we are getting 1.1 GB of free RAM when I've closed all the uh, games and application which were running in the background. So it's pretty good. Like out of 2 GB, you will get 1 GB of RAM free most of the time because uh, I've installed lots of application here. You can see many heavy games like Spalted, uh, NFS Most Wanted, Modern Combat 3, uh, Amazing Spider-Man. So all of these games are like more than 1 GB in size and huge resource hungry games. So uh, the multitasking performance of the device is going to be very good. And then there is off screen gesture. Uh, what this functionality do if you go here and turn it on, there are some features which you can see like um, double tap to turn on the screen. And there are more features like uh, swipe up when the screen is off, you can just swipe up to light the screen and unlock it. Then there's a launch camera application. If you do like this and just tap on it, you will get the instruction that what you have to do. You have to draw C on your uh, lock on when the screen is off and if you draw C it will open the camera so it's it's a very nice feature and the camera is on as you can see I have just wrote uh, I have written C on the screen when it was off and uh, uh, the camera application was launched um, and in the very same manner, you can launch calculator, you can even control music. So here, let's have a look that, see, when the screen is off, if you swipe it down, it will play or pause the music. If you uh, swipe on the left, it will go to the previous song. If you uh, swipe right, it will go to the next song. So these features are pretty good. Then there are more gestures you can assign. For example, the E, M, O, S, W, Z, and up arrow, these, uh, gestures are free and for you to decide like what you want for example uh, gesture O now you can select what you want for gesture O uh, so when the screen is off you will just uh, write O on the screen and any of these uh, application will be open you can select even the games and every single application uh, available on your device so it's it's a very nice feature you can say here and let's go back and then what we got here is uh, all the basic features and functionality of Android phones. And let's have a look on the camera. Uh, MLS Info Note is having a 13 megapixel primary camera and eight megapixel front facing camera. So, and it is capable of taking 10 ATP full HD videos. So uh, the 13 megapixel camera is pretty good in taking pictures, but the front facing camera uh, is of 8 megapixel but still the quality is not that great you can see the quality of uh, the video uh, from the front facing camera and the primary camera uh, in previous video which we have posted earlier let me take one picture of this MLS Info Note retail box and let's check the quality so here we go and Okay, so as you can see, uh, considering the 13 megapixel primary camera, the quality is pretty good, pretty nice. It zooms as well and having some details, but the front facing camera is not that great because it's eight megapixel camera. But, and still, uh, even though it's eight megapixel camera, uh, it can record only uh, 640 uh, video. So it's it's pretty bad, like having an 8 megapixel camera which is not capable of taking 720p or 1080p full HD video is, is like waste of the resource. So it's it's pretty bad you can see. And uh, if we have a look on the features and functionality, it is having all the basic uh, uh, Android camera features like uh, uh, Panorama and here is uh, the multi-angle view, the face beauty. Uh, here is the live photo mode which takes uh, uh, a picture before taking a few seconds of video for example if I'm taking right now so I'm going to take a live picture mode I'm going to take a picture it's so you can see it's saving a live photo showing on the screen and Okay, 
now it's saved so as you can see it's a video file actually it's not a photo it's it says live photo but it's not a photo at all so this is what happened it takes a picture and a few seconds of video so this is what happens in the live photo mode uh, let's play some games like uh, Vault 8 here and let's have a look at how good uh, the gaming performance of MLI Info Note is going to be so the volume is at full okay so here is our asphalt it You can also watch the gaming performance video of our MLS Info Note in which we played some other games like uh, uh, like Temple Run and Modern Combat 3. So you will get the better idea that how good is the gaming performance of MLS Info Note as you should be getting the idea that it's pretty good here when I'm playing a sport it. It's the sensors are really very smooth and responsive. The touch screen sensitivity is nice as well. And you can see it's so smooth. Though the sound quality is not that great, it's kind of noisy coming from this speaker. But uh, the gaming performance is really very nice. Like it's so smooth and the graphics is really very nice. So here I'm just giving you the idea about the gaming capability of MLS Info Mode and it's pretty good as you can see here and so that's that's all about the gaming performance. You can watch our detailed gaming performance video of MLS Info Note here as well. And let's have a look on the screen. As you can see it's having a 720p HD screen which is pretty good this is uh, very good in quality if you have a closer look you can see even though the PPI is less because of the huge size of the MLI M4 note the clarity is very nice you can see there is no pixel nothing coming on the screen even if we see it so close let me try to focus on it so you can see it's really vivid the colors are very good everything is so nice um, and the user interface is the standard Android 5.0 lollipop as you can see here there is not much customization and uh, everything is so simple as and smooth as you can see it's pretty nice and on the home screen it's it's uh, it's uh, just like this rock and right uh, 5.0 lollipop so overall considering uh, everything about the device and everything like if, if you check the entity benchmarking score here you will find that uh, it scores pretty good it's a 64 bit device it scored 34,073 and if you check the ranking it's right next to the LG G3 you can see so the overall performance is going to be good if you have a look on our gaming performance of MLS M4 Note you can see um, it plays uh, most of the games pretty well and uh, the graphics quality is really very nice the multitasking ability uh, is also impressive the uh, 13 megapixel primary camera is nice though the 8 megapixel front facing camera is not that good considering uh, the resolution it is it, it was supposed to have and the screen quality is really very nice the build quality is very good it is having the metal frame and it looks so nice and if you fancy having a samsung galaxy note 4 you can go with this device because as you can see it's a clone of samsung galaxy note 4 but having a very nice build quality as well uh, it lacks though LED uh, notification as I have seen you can uh, ignore if you can ignore these points 
So MLIS M4 Note is a really very nice device considering the price and specs of the device. So uh, it's a good mid-range device. If, if you are okay with the features, you should buy it because uh, in terms of performance, it's going to be a real good one. So thanks for watching the video friends and do not forget to subscribe the channel for more videos, tips and tricks and hands-on reviews like this. Have a nice day.